Hello and welcome back to Athos Craft Season 2. Here we are in a shopping district today. You can see some new shops have been popping up and there's some curious ones. There's some cobblestone tower going on back there. Not sure what that one is yet, but we'll see. Uh, companion Cube from the uh, Portal game. Pretty cool. It's one of my favorite stores so far. Uh, DC, Stars, DC Stars shop there where he sells um, books and golden carrots and a few things. Uh, there's an Alicia shop, uh, ice shop, etc. So anyways, in today's episode, we are going through a bit of a monotonous task today. So probably be some uh, time lapses in today's video. But the idea is we are going to add a portal from the world spawn and link it up to the nether hub that uh, some of the other members have been building so far. So the idea is we will need several supplies. So I spent a bit of time ahead of uh, the video gathering some supplies. We're not quite done yet, though. So what do we have so far? We've got uh, some obsidian, flint and steel, some lighting. Uh, I went ahead and made a whole bunch of white concrete and a bunch of pickaxes, which I use for digging. Um, got them all mended up, going to the blaze farm for XP. And uh, when we're digging through the nether, um, we go through pickaxes pretty quickly because they uh, they dig so quickly. I have a spare uh, bow ready to go as my bow here is just about done. Um, so we got a spare one ready to go. And we've got um, the idea here that we need a few more things. So the path from the uh, world spawn in the nether to the hub uh, will be an ice path and so we are going to have to visit Tony's cool ice shop here and grab some ice. In addition to the hub that been being designed so far uses um, sea lanterns for lighting so we will have to purchase a bunch of sea lanterns. I believe it's Garth that's selling the sea lanterns right now. So first and foremost let's use the blue one here. So we're going to go into Tony's shop here see what he's got for ice snow ice packed ice and blue ice let's go for the blue ice it is the fastest and go from there so we will need some diamonds so one diamond for 16 Ooh, it's gonna cost a few uh 16. i don't know how many blocks we're gonna go in the nether but uh, let's grab a few stacks anyways so let's go uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so 14, 15, we'll grab 16, four stacks. So there goes a lot of diamonds, rip. That's a lot of digging. But anyway, so we've got four stacks of blue ice now. Um, so that'll get us a long way. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. We might have to come back and buy some more or go do some digging ourselves. Um, but such the case. So let's go over to the companion cube cube here and see what uh, Garth has for sale as far as sea lanterns go. I believe he has a guardian farm that he's built. So lanterns, prismarine, yes. So he's got the guardian farm that's up and running. So let's go and check that out. Um, so what's he got here? So this is bone blocks. Obsidian, which we already have. Sea lanterns. Ah, oh, we can, I mean, not sea lanterns, sorry, just lanterns. We can always use a few of those. Let's purchase a couple of those. Let's buy a, uh, a stack. All right, so let's throw in the three diamonds. All right, and then this is what we came for, the sea lanterns here. So what's he got here? Dark Prismarine, one for 32. That's actually pretty cheap because Dark Prismarine is uh, hard to come by and also very expensive to make. It takes one ink sack per block to make Dark Prismarine. So, Garth, that's a cheap price. I might have to buy some just because... Oh my goodness, look at all the Dark Prismarine you have. Let's buy uh, a couple stacks of that, because Dark Prismarine is a great block for design and creative work. Prismarine blocks, uh, not a fan of those, and same thing with Prismarine. We will buy those if we are going to put a um, conduit in, um, but we don't need that quite yet. So sea lanterns here, we are going to buy them. So a diamond for 32. Let's buy, say, three stacks. Ah, it's got four stacks, so we, we won't run out. I don't want to have to come back halfway through if we don't want to. So there we go. So Garth and Tony, you guys made some money off me today. All right. Let's see here. I believe uh, Vizzo here. Uh, we're okay for that stuff right now. Um, the Sail Shack. The Sail Shack has some books. 
Uh, not, in fact, I got all my stuff I need for now. Uh, this is my shop here, so I was just in there a little earlier and cleared out, cleared out all the purchases. So I sell shulkers, um, shulker boxes, elytras, dragon heads, um, bone blocks, as well as um, ink sacks I sell in there. And this is scaffolding, and there's been no purchases in there. Okay, so Lyra's shop here. Uh, odds and ends. Is there anything we're going to need in here? Quartz, iron, lapis, gold. Uh, I can always use iron. Oh, she sold out of iron. Quartz blocks. I love the quartz, um, but I'll leave that for now. We don't need it for the portal, for the nether. Totem. Actually, I think we do actually need some quartz for the nether. So what is it here? One diamond per stack. So we'll grab, say, four stacks here. And we can always use quartz anyway, so that's not a big deal. Um, rip half a stack of diamonds so far, but that's okay. All right, so let's go throw our goodies into our shulkers here if we can get ready for our trip. All right, so we got our sea lanterns. Uh, we got our quartz. Uh, prismarine was for myself, so I'll put that in my own box. Let's throw down a uh, throw down an ender chest here so we can throw my goodies in there. Let's grab a, a shulker box here and put the stuff that I purchased for myself in there. Like so uh, we are not going to need an axe on this trip. Um, and I have a red shulker box here too. Uh, this, oh, the red shulker box. I, oh, I know I remember. I grabbed that. I grabbed that because as we dig out the... Um, as we dig out in the nether, we're going to get a ton of netherrack, so I want to uh, gather as much of that as we can. So we'll just go ahead and put these boxes right here. And we have some food. Obviously, it looks like I'm running low on food. So I'll throw this shulker box here. And let's put my diamonds away so that I don't lose those accidentally. So grab that. Throw that torch back down again so we don't have somebody spawning. Got some food. And I will be back when I'm at the world spawn and ready to go. So here we are at Falling Star and Schmo's base. Um, they've built a wonderful uh, lighthouse here and the lights rotate and everything. And so we use this point as our guide to where the world spawn is. So essentially this is the first point of contact on the main island within the realm. And so to get to the world spawn, we have to fly across this ocean about 600 or 700 blocks. So I will time lapse the next minute or two. Okay, so here we are, coming in on the main spawn island. This island is where the world spawn happens to be set. And it's a pretty interesting island, and we can do some interesting builds here for the world spawn. But for now, today the goal is just to set up the portal so that if new members do join, we will uh, connect them to the uh, main world. Now, here's the idea that although this may look like a uh, nice little port uh, section here. There's actually some invisible blocks here blocking it. So when we started the world, we had everybody inside this box and they were all locked in. And so that uh, we opened this door up essentially and that was like launch of season two. So anyways, so we're going to put the portal inside this box. Uh, funny, there's endermen everywhere here. But anyways, so we're going to put the portal inside this box and then we will, uh, that, that will enable us to... Uh, to get set up. So, a um, little tutorial for those of you who haven't done portals before. There is a bit of a trick to it. The idea is that you want to um, place it at coordinates that are somewhat divisible by 8. Um, so, when we're looking at this, uh, if we're doing in the negatives, uh, negatives uh, 0 would be a great spot, as would 8. So, unfortunately, we are sort of in the wrong area here. So, maybe we'll put this one sideways. And then the other dire direction, uh, divisible by 8, uh, 640, uh, 648 would be divisible by 8. So we could put the portal right here would be the idea. Right. So it would be the best location for it. So we're going to actually place the portal right here. Like so. 
Hello, Mr. Enderman. Are you going to bug me today? Don't look at you. Don't look at you. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and put this portal right here. Oh, he's coming for a visit. Uh, let's make it a little bigger than we normally make it. Um, I've got I've got extra obsidian here, so let's make this a little bigger. I know we don't need to fill in the corners, but we might as well just do it for the for the sake of doing it. Okay, we've got the portal made. Now what happens here is we're going to light this up and we're going to see where it ends up. Chances are it's not going to be in the perfect spot in the nether and we will end up having to move it. Um, so we want to make sure we have everything we need with us uh, when we go into the nether so that we can fix it if we need to. Anyway, so here's our trial. So our coordinates are the middle sp spawn on here are 648 and negative 8. So let's light that sucker up. Uh, let us bring this stuff with us just in case. Uh, I don't want to get into the nether and then not be able to come back. Uh, bring that with us and let's see where it put us. Quite often it'll tie us to another already existing portal and then we'll have to dig ourselves all the way back to this place. 648 is divisible by 8. Um, Approximately 81 times, so our coordinates in the nether are going to be 81, 64, and it's at negative 8, so it'll be negative 1. So that's where this portal should be in the nether, but let's go and have a look. A moment of truth. Does it create the portal in the right place? And as I said before, the chances of it creating it in the right place is slim. And no, it put us into a portal that's already existing. And this put us to a uh, star and schmoes portal. So you can see the problem that we have here is if we go back through this portal now, we're actually going to be back at the lighthouse. So we come out through here, and if I make my way up these stairs here, you'll see when I come out of star and schmoes base here. A uh, bit of a maze to get out of here. But once we're out... There we go. Once we are here, you can see that we are indeed back at the lighthouse, not at the world spawn. So what that means is we got to manually make the portal in the nether at the right coordinates, uh, and that will allow us to um, uh, link it up properly. Uh, portals become a bit of a pain once you have lots of them on the server, and so it's a matter of making sure that you link them all together. Oop, I went, told you it was amazing. Hair went down the wrong way. Uh, we got to go down this way, and then I believe we go down through here. Yes, there we go. So, stars portal, and I hear skeleton. It's not going to get me. So, we have to, from... The hub that's been provided so far, we need to get to negative, we need to get to positive 81 and negative 1. So we actually need to come back this way a bit. So there's negative 1 right there, and we need to go in that direction. So we're going to punch a hole in the side of what we've built here for the other so far, and we are going to start. Building away. All right, so in order to do this, we need some white concrete. And let's grab a few stacks because it'll be a, quite a bit of, of building. Uh, we should also grab some blue ice uh, while we're here uh, because this is going to be a fairly long path. Uh, so we can grab some, throw some blue ice on there. So we did grab that blue ice earlier. Let's grab some stacks of that. Okay. And then we Put the stuff away for safekeeping. So, and I'm going to dig away. I'm going to do this as a time lapse because this is going to take probably a good hour or more to build this. And so I will time lapse it. See you in a bit.
Okay, we're back, and we have now built uh, a tunnel. I'll have to fix up this little bit here to make sure the windows align and be symmetrical, but uh, parallel to Smoes and Star's uh, portal door here, we've built this little path. We will finish this off afterwards, um, but we've built this path now and used some ice, so if we end up getting boats, we can go down here really quickly. And so we're going to add some glass windows and all those things on the side. But essentially, we've got to the point here where the portal has to be, and so the portal coordinates, uh, if you remember earlier, were 81 comma negative 1. So we want the portal will be centered right here on this block. So we're going to dig out these blocks here. And we're going to need to grab our obsidian back. So let's get our end chest out. Grab the blue chest, which had the obsidian in it. Okay. Grab the obsidian here. Put the portal in here. Let's build it three high like we did the other one. Uh, do we have a filler block here? Yeah, we'll grab some white concrete. And cross three. And bring it up three. And put white concrete here just so it looks symmetrical. And throw our obsidian back in there. And so this portal here should, now theoretically, if we've done everything correctly, uh, link up to the portal that's at the spawn point that we made earlier. So let's go ahead and light this and let's give it a test. Always have your sword in hand because you never know what you're going to run into on the other side when you're building new portals out in non-protected areas. And there we go. We are in the spawn part. Now, remember last time we went through this portal, we ended up in Schmo's base. So let's go ahead and Go through the portal and test and see if it put us into our new tunnel. And yes, it did. So we are successfully linked our portal up to the spawn point. And now I will go ahead and um, finish this tunnel off to make it look good and match the rest of the hub. And I will show that in a time lapse. Be back in a bit. Okay, we are back, and we have completed the tunnel. And so as you can see here, we have our portal. We've built it here. We've made two tunnels on the side um, in case people want to expand the uh, tunnels out in the future. Oops, forgot a sea lantern. Let's get that in there. And so as you see here, uh, a couple of portals for a dish for add-on tunnels in the future. Um, and then uh, we can head back to uh, where we joined up ice in case people want to use boats, of course. And the idea is that uh, we've got lots of windows in here. I like to see what we're doing. Um, I like to see outside. So I probably added a few more windows than the previous parts of the of the nether hub tunnels that I had. And I also uh, added the uh, uh, posts on the side. Now I do note that I want to add a piece underneath and a piece on top so that it looks like it's structurally sound. Right now those uh, white concrete blocks look like they're just hanging there. But for the most part, we're doing all right, and uh, we've connected it here. We're back to basically where we started with the connection to um, Falling Star and Schmo's base. Let's get rid of our boxes so that uh, we clean up our area after ourselves. And then uh, now we can head back down, see where when new people join the, the server, they'll come down that tunnel, and then they'll head over to the main part of the hub. So we'll... Uh, Make sure that's a straight path. There's only one way to go here. Go past all the chests from digging out the hub in the first place. And then, as you can see here, the uh, hub to the shopping area is here. So, thank you very much for watching. And we will end the video there. And we will see you next time. Goodbye.